Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. So uh, we're looking at a little bit of a change of scenery here. What you're looking at here is a 1982 Honda C70 Passport. It's a little 70cc scooter. I've always been a fan of these. I found this one about just a little over a year ago and um, it was basically a basket case so uh, it wasn't running but it's complete. Everything that's not on the machine currently um, is in a box somewhere. I think if I come around here, um, it's actually all the remaining parts are in that bucket. <clears throat> and they're all new, as well as that seat. So I figure it's about time to uh, get this guy up and running. And uh, I'm a novice at best when it comes to small engine repair. I'm using these scooters and the chainsaws and the things that I rebuild kind of as projects to learn and so when I got this one I got I set the timing on it and I fired it up and it was making a lot of weird noises and so it turned out that the uh, it was losing compression through the the main uh, head gasket so I knew that I was gonna have to replace this I mean it was just blowing straight out from the top I gotta get the uh, the head off so I can take a look and see if it was a matter of the gasket actually being broken or if it was just not seated properly I don't know it could be a whole bunch of things the reason I'm getting started on this is because um, just last week I found another one and this one is running and is pretty much in perfect condition for its age it's another 1982 the only thing that's wrong with this one is that the speedometer doesn't work, but I'm sure it has to do with something going on in uh, that mechanism down there where the speedometer actually gets its reading. It's the leg shield is off right now because I'm about to do the timing or the I'm sorry the valve clearance on that guy. Um, so once I get the valve clearance set up, on that one, I'll be able to put the leg shield back on and have this guy 100%. In the meantime, though, I'm working on this guy. So the first step is to get this jug off, take a look at the piston and the cylinder and the gasket, and then go from there. At the moment, I'm working on getting the cam sprocket out of here so I can release the cylinder head. I'm not sure if I'm going to need to break the chain to get it out. We're going to find out now in just a second. I've got a service manual for this thing, so I'm going to take a look at it real quick, and then I'll get back to you guys. Alright, so i got the cylinder head off here, and um, I can't find any evidence that the gasket is anything but brand new. There's no carbon or anything around it, so it looks like it was freshly installed. I'm pretty sure those head nuts were on there pretty tight, so I'm going to have to figure out where the slack is and why this isn't making a good seal. You can also, I don't know if you can see, if you look in here, um, 
you know, this, the, the top of the, the piston and this whole area is really dirty, so I'm going to go in there with a wire brush and clean that up before I put everything back together. Okay, so I think I understand the problem that's going on here. Um, the person who owned this before me must have struggled getting a seal. If you can look right here, you'll see a rubber o-ring that goes around the cam chain. Okay, and now if you take a look at the gasket, you can see where that gasket bottomed out on that o-ring right here. I gotta pull out the service manual but I think this is gonna be an either or situation so either you have that o-ring and a gasket that does not cover the the cam chain section or you have one of these and you don't need that o-ring because when you crush this down over that o-ring it's gonna leave a gap right in this area and that's exactly where I was losing my compression. So I'll be right back after I take a look at that in the manual. Okay, just as I suspected, the service manual says nothing about this rubber o ring here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Here, I'll show you. Now, if this fit inside the groove, I think that would be one, you know, one story. But since it overlays on top of the groove, it's just never going to make a seal for me to have good compression on that engine. And also on the mating surfaces, there's no groove, no corresponding groove here or here. And so I think I will be better off without it and just installing this guy so we're gonna find out right now okay there it is installed and so before I put the cylinder head back on I'm gonna go ahead and take some time and remove the spark plug and kinda of clean the valve area out pretty good and, and um, just try to make it nice again down in there As I'm putting it back together, I'm noticing a couple of things. And these are just questions that I have. I, I'm not 100% sure. There's got to be a reason behind all of them. For example, this nut here on the cylinder head cap has a copper washer. And so the fact that it has a copper washer tells me that it's exposed to pressure. And so I'm guessing it's exposed to oil pressure, at least in this hole. Then this this uh, end here gets only a nut and not a cap nut, just a regular open nut. I find that curious and maybe it has to do with some other option that was available that needed to be grounded here or something, I'm not sure. And then the other two are just normal. What I gotta do now is I gotta torque all these down and uh, get this head back on nice and tight. I gotta reattach the breather tube to the, the cylinder head, tidy everything back up, reset the timing, and then I'll be able to start this guy up, hopefully, at least get it to spark on some engine starting fluid. Okay, so as you can see, I got all of the covers back on, got the motor back together. Um, I went ahead and set the timing with the uh, timing marks here and on the cam chain. And I also set the valve clearance while I was in there. Check compression, it didn't look too promising, but we'll see what happens once it warms up. I still got to get these little plugs on and then I'm going to fire it up and we'll take a look and see how it runs. Or if it runs. All right, so there's no uh, muffler on this guy, so this might be a little loud.
Well, a little, it's a little smoky, but I don't know how long it's been since this has run. I'm really excited. I don't know, I think this is probably the first uh, four cycle that I've ever brought back from the dead, I guess you could call it. At least the first time I've uh, bought a four cycle non-running and gotten it up and running. I've done a couple two cycle engines, this is the first four cycle. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, there's still a lot of work left to do. You can see it's missing a lot of parts. As you can hear, it's missing the muffler. That's out getting chromed right now. But uh, if you like this type of video, I know this is not woodworking, but um, this is kind of other things that I'm interested in. And if you're interested in it as well, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys next time.